Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video of Easy Tutorials and today in this video you will see how to create a website header section using HTML and CSS. As you can see on my computer screen, here is one demo web page that I will create in this video. On this web page, first we have one logo and in the right side you can see some information like email ID, phone number and shopping cart icon. Then we have some text and a small description. Then we have two buttons over here and these buttons have very beautiful hover effect. As you can see when I take cursor over this button, the background color is moving from left to right. So this hover effect for button looks very beautiful for this web page. So before starting this video, I will request you to please hit the like button and also subscribe if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. First you can see I have one folder and in this folder I have one background image and one logo. Here I will create one more file for HTML. So let me create a new file. Then rename it as index.html. Open this file with any text editor. I am using brackets editor. Here we will write HTML open and close tag. Then head open and close. In the head we will add title. So the title is website design easy tutorials. After head, we will create body tag, body open and close tag. Next, we will come to the folder again. Here, we will create another file and rename it as style.css. Again, open this file with text editor. Here, we will write a star and margin 0, padding 0. Now, come back to the HTML file. And here we will write a link rel style sheet href and the file name which is style.css. This will connect the HTML file with CSS. Now we will copy this tag body and write it into the CSS file. For this body, we will add background image and we'll also use a dark layer over this background image. So I'm writing linear gradient, this color. And again same color then I will add URL and image file name which is pic.jpg next we will add background position it will be center and background size it will be cover let me add font family also it will be sans serif save these changes then open the HTML file with Google Chrome. Now you can see this background image for complete web page. Let's come back to the HTML file again and here we will create div and the class name I am writing menu. Here we will add one image so I am using img source and the file name which is logo.png. Let's copy this class name menu, write it here. And for this one, we'll add width, it will be 100%. Let's duplicate it and here we'll add IMG for logo. So for this logo, I will add height 35 pixel and margin 20 pixel and 50 pixel. Cursor, it will be pointer. Let's reload the web page and you can see this logo over this web page. Now again come back to the HTML file and here we will add some list. So I am adding ul then li. In this li I will add email id which is a demo email id. In the next one I will add this phone number. And in the third one we will write card. Let's save these changes and you can see all this text on this web page just below this logo. Now come back to the CSS file. Write this class name menu then write ul. Here we will add display inline flex. Color it will be white. List or style it will be none. Let's write right 60 pixel and top. 15 pixel position absolute. 
So now you can see all this information in the right corner. Let's copy it and here we'll add li. For this list, I will add margin 15 pixel and cursor pointer. Font size, it will be 18 pixel. Refresh the web page and you can see proper spacing between all this information. Now we will add some icon also. For that, come to the Google and search for font awesome CDN. Open the first URL and just copy this link. Come to the HTML file and duplicate this line. And here we will paste the link that we have copied. That's it. Now again come to the Google and search for font awesome icons. Open the first URL and on this website you can find lots of icons. So let me search for envelope. So just click on any one icon. Copy this link and add it into your HTML file. We can remove this part. Now we'll search for the another icon. This is phone. Just open this one and copy and paste it here. Now for the third one, we'll search cart. Open the icon and copy the one line of code and add it into the HTML file. Let me refresh the web page. Now you can see this icon with this information. Now we have to add some space also. For that again come back to the CSS file and copy this line. Write it here then write .fa for icon. Let's add margin right. 13 pixel and font size it will be 20 pixel. That's it. Save these changes and reload the web page. Now you can see proper spacing between information and icon. Now this top navigation part looks great. Now we'll come to the HTML file. And after this div, we'll create another div. In the class name, I'm using banner text. In this div, we'll add one title. So I'm using h1. And the title is Impressive Web Design. Now we'll add some small description. So I'm using p tag. And this is our small description. Let me save these changes and reload the web page. So you can see this title and a small description on this web page. Now we have to align it. So just copy this class name and paste it into the CSS file. Here we'll add width 80% and color it will be white. Margin 16% auto and zero. After reloading the web page, you can see this text over here. Here we will add BR to change the line in the description. After reloading the page, you can see a small width for content description. Let's come back to the CSS file and just copy this one, then write h1. For this one, I'm adding font size, it will be 60 pixel. And let's copy it again, then write p. For this text, we'll write font size 18 pixel and margin, it will be 40 pixel, 0 and 50 pixel. Now you can see big title and description on this web page. Let me reduce this size 16 pixel and reload the web page. Now you can see this title and description looks very good on this web page. Next we have to add some buttons. So after this P tag we will write UL and LI and in this list I am adding anchor tag and the text is about us. Let's duplicate this line to create second link. So this second link text will be our work.
Now reload the web page and you can see these two links on this web page. Next we have to design it. So just copy this class name here and then write ul. For this one we'll add list style tab it will be none and display it will be inline flex. Let's duplicate it and after ul write li. Let's remove this one and here we will write margin, write 25 pixel position relative. Let's copy it again and then write A. So for this A will write text decoration it will be none, color it will be white. Then border 2 pixel solid and white color display it will be block padding 10 pixel and width it will be 120 pixel text align center and z index i am adding 1 so after reloading the page you can see two buttons after this description Next we have to add hover effect on these buttons. So come back to the CSS file and just copy it then write hover. Here we will add border to pixel solid and red. Then I am adding transition 0.3 second. So now you can see when I will take cursor over this button the border color is changing from white to red but we have to add one more thing the background color should also change for that we'll add a span here and just copy it and paste it into the second one also that's it let's copy this span and write it here in the css file before that we'll paste this also for this one we'll add display block width 0 and height 100% background red and top 0 position absolute transition 0 0.3 seconds z index minus 1 and let's copy it again and here we will write hover Now write width 100%. That's it. Now save these changes and reload the web page. So when I take cursor over this button, you can see the background color is also changing. It looks like background is coming from left to right side. So this add very beautiful effect on this website. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end.